as a security professional, you should be able to understand how and when to use your gear, um, different things as simple as a flashlight or different weapons. One of the things I want to talk about right now is the flashlight. How do you guys hold your flashlight when you're doing security? When I first started, um, even as a law enforcement officer, I'd hold it in my right hand because as a martial artist, this is a weapon. It's a striker. It's a hook. It's all kinds of cool stuff you can do with it, right? But then when I was on my second phase of FTO, one of my, uh, my FTO, my field training officer, he asked me one day, he goes, why are you holding your flashlight in your right hand? I said, because it's a weapon. I said, I can use it for a lot of things. Started explaining to him. He's like, no. He's like, what are you thinking? He's like, your gun is your weapon. Put it in your left hand. Use your left hand because I'm right-handed. My gun's on my right side. So if I need to use my actual weapon, I have a weapon. And I was like, yeah, I didn't even think about that. It was, it was kind of funny. Um, so since th it took me a while to figure out, you know, to just get in the habit of using my left hand. But now to today, I still use my left hand all the time on the flashlight because one, it's a weapon. But two, if I'm armed, I need my right hand to be accessible to be able to use for my firearm, right? And so the idea about carrying it as a weapon, it is a weapon, but you got to make sure that that you use your equipment smartly and make sure that you can use it for what it's intended for, right? Your hands. Um, now, if you're never going to be armed and you're good with your right hand, I would say use your right hand, keep it in your right hand if you're good with the weapon, right? Because this is a striker. You can hook people with it. You can, there's so much stuff you can do with a flashlight, right? It's the same as you can do with an expandable baton, unexpanded. The idea is it's a weapon. You can strike, you can hit, you can, you know, you don't have to pull it out and use it as an expandable baton. You can use it as, as just, you know, a coup baton basically. And so, so if you think about it, the flashlight is basically the same thing as a coup baton. But the idea is it's a lot more useful than a coupon. Coupon is good for like one thing or a flashlight you use for many things. But the idea here is think about what you're doing. If you're going to, if you're armed or you're going to be armed one day, get used to using your flashlight in your opposite hand. That way you have access to your gun. You don't have to get rid of your, your flashlight to use your gun, all that good stuff. But um, mainly that's what I want to talk about with the flashlight is how do you carry it? Do you carry it like this? Do you carry it like this? Do you, I carry it like, I, I keep my wrist strap on, I hold it to where if I have to, I can drop it and it's good, but I keep it in this position because striker, striker, I keep my hand in a position that it keeps an edge here so you can use it for different things if you need to, right? I keep the same thing on the front. I'll never hold it too far in the back, never hold it too far in the front. The idea is when you learn how to use certain weapons, figure out what else can be a weapon, right? Weapons of opportunity. This is a weapon of opportunity. A magazine is, a piece of rolled up something you find, right? A stick. Everything's a weapon of opportunity once you learn how to use it. And with security, especially these days, it's getting worse and worse. You've got to be smart. You've got to make sure you're on your feet. You're watching. There's so many people. I love watching the channels, um, you know, for security because I try to learn something all the time. And the idea is, um, you know, use what you have. Use it wisely and think of how you're going to use it, when you're going to use it, and why you're going to use it. But anyway, that's my two cents on the flashlight. So if you have anything else you want to talk about, you just hit me up in the comments and um, I'll get back to you soon. Thanks. Bye. Hey, also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to be doing a lot more security videos as we go. Um, cool things I think of with, you know, martial arts and, and security. But as of today, I'm up to 158 subscribers. So help me get to the 500 mark. Thanks. Bye. Hey, guys. Also, check out these other two channels I'm putting up at the top. Um, there are a couple guys that I found that have really good information that you cannot go wrong listening to.